Welcome to Zarin Tech on this video on Snowflake context functions. I'm excited to provide an overview of these useful functions in Snowflake. Before we dive in, I want to cover a few quick disclaimers. This video is for informational purposes only. Be sure to comply with all applicable copyright laws. Without limiting rights under copyright, no part of this document may be reproduced, stored, or transmitted without permission. Credit should be given for any images taken from open sources. Here's an overview of what we'll cover today. First, we'll discuss the need to learn Snowflake context functions and how they can help solve different workloads. Next, we'll provide an overview of the different categories of context functions. Then we'll walk through some example SQL scripts to see these functions in action. So why learn Snowflake context functions? Enterprises often have multiple Snowflake accounts under a single instance, which creates a complex information architecture. Context functions become very useful when building data solutions across these different environments. They provide information related to the context in which SQL queries are run. There are three main categories of Snowflake context functions, general context, session context, and session object context. Let's briefly introduce each one. General context functions provide info about the query environment like the current role, warehouse, etc. Session context provides details on the user session like client type and IP address. And session object context gives metadata on session objects like schemas and databases. Now let's look at some example SQL scripts to see these functions in action. Now let's look at some example SQL scripts to see these functions in action. Thank you for attending this overview of Snowflake context functions. Be sure to subscribe to our channel for more informative videos.